Hi guys. Hey. So it's day four of STEAM camp, and today we learned all about Paul's mission journey, which is when he traveled around and like told people about Jesus. So one of the people that he met was a woman named Lydia, and the Lord opened her heart to listen to Paul's message, and she and her whole family came to faith and were baptized. So the faith that God worked in her is super awesome. And another awesome thing about Lydia is that the Bible tells us her job was that she sold purple cloth, which involved dyeing cloth and a really expensive purple dye. So in honor of Lydia's job, we are dyeing our own cloth today. <laughs> We're making tie-dye with those t-shirts that we put in your boxes. All right, so you need parental supervision today because we're dealing with dye, and it can dye your clothes, and, and it can skin. dye your skin, and your tables. So make sure you have a parent close by and follow the directions very closely today. All right, let's get started. All right, guys, so step one is to put on your protective gear, so you should have a pair of gloves in your box. And I chose to wear a paint shirt if you like the clothes that you're wearing because the dye will dye your clothes and your skin. Um, make sure you have your tin with your shirt in it, and I put down a trash bag on my workspace to guard that. And then your first step is to fill up your bottle of dye. And so yours will have a little powder at the bottom, and you just go ahead and fill it with most of the way with water. If you fill it like all the way, then it's going to spill over, and you don't want that. And so then just screw it nice and tight, okay, and come back to it and shake it up a little bit. All right, and then I'm starting with a wet t-shirt because it's just going to make the dye less... Um, like super bright, but you can use it on a dry t-shirt anyway. Um, and then you just lay it out. And we are doing the pinch method or scrunch. And so you take it in the middle and just kind of pinch it up, kind of like that. And you do that on the whole shirt. Okay. Take a minute. And then we are going to attach rubber bands to each part of the shirt and just hold it really tight. So you should have a bunch, a bunch of rubber bands in your bag. And go ahead and use those. So I'm going to pinch like right here. These are nice gloves. Probably there. See, my rubber band's already got some dye on them. Under than this guy. Once you feel like you have that secure and everything is kind of pinched together, then you're ready to squirt it with your tie-dye. Um, so you can take this cap off. All right. And again, depending on how much white versus how much color you want, is how much you soak it. So I'm going to go ahead and squirt a bunch of it. Again, keeping it all in your tin. It's gonna die. So the first one that I made, I think I covered the whole thing, but because I don't have a ton left in this bottle from the example that I made, that's as much as I'm doing on that one, on this side, sorry. And so then flip it over and do the same thing on the back. Awesome. That's all we got. Cool. Then your next step is we have to put it away for six hours, six to eight hours to let it sit. All right, so you should have like a Kroger bag or a Walmart bag or maybe like Jungle Gym or something in your bag. And you're gonna wanna put your t-shirt in there. Ooh. So that it's sealed and it can stay damp. Ooh. All right. We're going to tie that tight around the t-shirt. Okay, boom. All right, guys, after you have your t-shirt tied up, air sealed, nice and tight, 
It says to wait for six to eight hours or however long mom and dad want to wait before they help you with the next step, which is to open it up and take off the rubber bands. So you can cut them or just pull them off. And then you rinse the t-shirt with water until the water runs clear. So at first the water is going to be blue or green or whatever the color your dye is. Wait till that's clear. And then you throw it in the wash and wash it on hot with a little bit of soap. When I did it, I put an old towel in there to catch some of the dye. All right, and then your shirt is ready. Just like this. Hey. <laughs> so we hope you guys had a super fun time today and we'll see you tomorrow.